เองเชิญครับว้าWe were just walking through the valley, enjoying these great views, and I noticed this vending machine here, right at this little farm. So they got this cute little Swiss farmhouse here. Why is it moving? It probably just moves every once in a while, but they got a vending machine here, and it's got like, looks like is this honey maybe. Looks like they got three different types of honey. They've got meat. Looks like some. Uh, Dried apple, like chips. They got cheese. Uh, looks like some type of maybe potato salad or something. And more cheeses and even some milk. And then they have some, you know, common soda products there. And it's all this stuff here, other than those sodas in the corner. That's all their stuff that they make, and they just leave it here, and you can just come up and buy whatever you want with a card. What a cool little idea, because. Lots of people walk right up and down this road all the time. No card. Cash. Oh, cash only? Yeah. Oh, it had a card reader on it. It said no card. Ah, so the card reader, maybe you have to pay extra for that to work, or maybe it's got to be on the Wi-Fi or something. Yeah. Well, at least you could use cash, which we don't really have a ton of. We have euros. We do have euros. Uh, Maybe we should go to a bank sometime and just get a little bit of francs out. But, I don't know, I just thought that was really neat. Something I've never seen before back in the States. But, a kitty cat in the field. yeah, we got a little kitty cat out here. Okay, so we're going to continue on our hike. Uh, we decided we we're going to cut across here pretty quick and go directly to Tumbleback Falls, which I think is like the highest rated falls here most views every like it's this, this is the one you need to go to if you come here uh we could go to murren back falls which is back and around the corner uh but the reviews on it were kind of wishy-washy and stuff so i was like well it's kind of it's twice as far as tunnel back and really i just want to see tunnel back so we're just going to go straight to that and come back and maybe we'll try to get up into vengen So we've made it to uh, the entrance here of Trummelback Falls. Uh, there's a restaurant right here, so it's right behind the restaurant. Seems to be some uh, groups here. Looks like we got a, obviously a souvenir shop um, because this is kind of a big deal to see this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead. I don't know if it costs anything. I'm guessing if we're gonna ride the thing, it probably does. But like the falls are like right here somewhere, but I think it's like in the crack there. So it seems like we're either gonna have to climb a bunch of stairs or maybe there's a lift. They're indicating that there's a lift, so maybe we take the lift up to see the falls. I've just seen pictures of it, so I don't know what else to expect. I'm trying to go into this fresh, not knowing too much. It's kind of the bad part about being the person who 
organizes where we're going as you see everything beforehand you know what to expect whereas Rebecca comes in with fresh eyes sometimes I can surprise her <laughs> <laughs> like oh look at this and she's like whoa I wasn't expecting that but I was so let's go ahead and get up to Trollback Falls Okay, so we got in, it was, what was it, 38? Yeah, uh, 14 a person. 14, 28. So it was 14 uh, Swiss francs a person, probably close to 35 US dollars, somewhere around there. Uh, so now, and that said it gives us access to the lift, which looks like it's right here. So we'll only have to go from seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we go look while we wait? Go look down real quick. Yeah. Yes. Wait, what? Do you want to go up the stairs and just look down real quick while we wait for the elevator? <laughs> Let's see. Get a glimpse of what this looks like before we get on this elevator up. Ooh, yeah. It's a lot of water. It's exciting. I know somebody who likes water. <laughs> okay, so we're just waiting for the elevator to come down. We can hop on in and take us three quarters of the way to the top. So, hopefully not too much longer. It doesn't say how long about it takes, I don't think. So, oh. So, each one of these stops is a fall. So there's 10 waterfalls, 10 glacier waterfalls inside the mountain. Made accessible by the lift. So these drain from the Eiger Glacier, the Monk, Jungfrau. Those carry 20,200 tons of boulder detritus per year. Its drainage area is 24 kilometers squared. Half of it's covered by snow and glaciers, up to 20,000 liters of water per second. The only glacier filled glacier waterfalls in Europe, inside a mountain, and still accessible. It's pretty specific the only glacier waterfalls in Europe inside a mountain that is also accessible. So, but you didn't know that. This is the only glacier fed waterfall in Europe that is inside a mountain and accessible. So, let's get on this elevator. This morning I so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face okay. Okay, so yeah. six is that way. We're gonna go up first, right? So, here we are. Uh, it takes you up to six, it looks like. So everything six and up is up this way. Everything else is down. So, guys, it's just over halfway. Get to see. Whew, the good views. Now I can hear the rumble of the first waterfall. Ooh, chilly. The air coming out of here is just way cooler. 
refreshing. Ooh, wow. That's our first set of falls. But let's just get all the way to the top. As close as we can. Because yeah, we're gonna walk down all the way at the end anyway. So we'll push for the summit. Big strong legs. I have big strong legs. Youthy strong legs. Just gotta remind myself sometimes. Now it's a little bit quieter, I can tell you. Those falls, I'm sure they sound loud on the TV, but I can tell you they're louder in real life. And they, you can feel the power when you get close. Like as I'm getting closer to this one right now, you can hear it a little bit louder now, but I can start to feel it every step you take. How much power it has, it's crazy. Look at that. Tomorrow 
time to borrow today Well, something's gotta give today So, we're coming up on the, the end of the, the hike here down to the bottom and that was pretty unexpectedly awesome what I thought was just going to be kind of falls like we saw earlier in this uh, episode was way more than that so if you come out to Louder Brunin to me this is number one on the list you got to come here but what I will say is uh, there is a bus stop that comes here so you can do that but I'm going to recommend you walk here it's somewhere around a 20 30 minute walk from the train station but it's an amazing walk through fields like with wild flowers and in this valley that to me uh was very much like uh yosemite in california with these big sheer rock walls on either side and lots of cow pastures and cows and just very unique experience so don't skip out on the walk here because it's amazing and it's pretty flat so it's a flat walk 20 30 minutes not too bad plus you can see the other falls right before here so we're gonna go ahead make our way back see if there's a bus anytime soon that we can catch if not we'll just walk back i mean no biggie uh so Back to uh, Lauterbrunnen train station. This morning I was so clear a lot as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel My face. Oh, that so we were walking around and there was another one of those vending machines right there so got myself a block of cheese it's uh 2020 so it's three years age i can see the salt crystals it says hobelkaza hobelkaza extra hard cheese i don't know what verzig volfet means but i see extra hard cheese cool so mission accomplished every time i come to europe i like to get a nice cheese and it's uh Vacuum sealed already. Yeah, already vacuum sealed so I can get that home. My cheese. And then when I get through customs, I gotta clean my cheese. You bring anything home? Just a thing of cheese. Just my cheese. Look at this wall they've made here. I wonder if it's the stop the helicopter noise. Maybe. Okay. Continuing on our hike now. get a chance to wrap up the video because we got into Lauterbrunnen and our train was leaving in two minutes and it was or four minutes and it was a four minute walk so we basically did a run walk into town down the stairs on the platform two and got 
on the train maybe a minute before it left. So we made it, saved us about a half hour. So we're gonna head back up to the apartment real quick. I'm gonna go get some lunch and get my appointment in the afternoon that weather permitting will still happen. We'll see, it's kind of cloudy and the weather report does not look good, but we will see. So the next video, I don't know where it's gonna be, but could be something exciting, we'll see. So if you liked the video, hit the like button now. Uh, comment, if you have any comments, questions you wanna know anything about, Louder Brunin, our time, or if you just enjoyed it, just watch, just uh, comment and say, hey, I enjoyed the video. We appreciate anything like that. And then obviously if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. So until then, we will see you in the next one.